Hi, welcome to the eighth part of my 10 part tutorial series Learn C in 2 hours. This video is the final chapter for the object oriented concepts where I will cover polymorphism. Polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on many forms. As you have seen in the previous tutorial on inheritance, that the derived class members can be divided into two parts. The general part, which is a direct copy of the base class members and the specialized part that carries derived class specific members including the overridden methods. In this diagram, you can only see the specialized members. Before going into the coding, please note that the polymorphism only works for the overridden methods. Here we have object for both of the classes. Now to refer to the base class, we can write circle pointer c is equal to new circle which is correct but amazingly if we write circle pointer is equal to cylinder object that is also correct because the derived class is a superset of the base class now if you try to do the other way around there is no specialized method inside the base class that is height in this case so that is wrong its implementation is not very difficult either as you know, polymorphism works for overridden methods only. You just have to indicate which overridden method needs to have polymorphism by writing a new keyword virtual. So let's see how it works. This is the code from my previous tutorial on inheritance. I have cleaned it a bit. You can also get this code from my GitHub link given in the description section. The first step is to make the overridden method virtual to make the polymorphism work. In this case, we have area as the overridden method. I simply need to put the virtual keyword in front of it. That's it. Now we are ready to use polymorphism. Here the area is being calculated separately. So I can write a function to calculate the area for both of these objects. So function name can be calc area. And the return type can be float and here I need to pass in a parameter that should be the base class circle pointer C and to get the area of circle we can simply call this method and to do that I will write return C area done now instead of calling the method directly I can call this intermediate function which is calc area so calc area and pass in the reference to circle in this case this is an object so I must pass the address of this object which is m% c please note that both these variables are different even though they have the same name so now let's see the result compile and run so as expected the results are correct. Now to show how polymorphism works, we can use the same function calc area and pass in cylinder object. So in this case, we already have a pointer here. So just pass in cylinder and compile and run. And this is the result. So you can see I can use this one function to calculate the area of both of these different objects. One is circle and another one is cylinder. So this is a usefulness of polymorphism. Write it once and use it for many different classes. Now, even though the program works fine, one more improvement is possible to make it safer. What I mean is, if calculating area is an essential part of this program, then how can we ensure that the area method has been implemented? To do that, I will introduce a new concept of abstract classes. Abstract class is just a class that enforces the programmers to implement some essential methods. In this case, I can create a new class and call it shape. To enforce a method to be implemented, I have to write an abstract method or pure virtual method. So now 
area can be a special method that has no implementation or it is pure virtual. Now this will enforce all the derived classes to implement area method. Otherwise they will get compile error. We can make it public and make the polymorphism work we have to make it virtual. Note that this abstract class cannot be instantiated because it has at least one method which is pure virtual. So now to enforce the area method to be implemented we can simply inherit shape by writing public shape. So in this context if you have forgotten to implement the area method you should get compile error. Let's compile and see and as expected you are getting a compile error. So this program is now much smarter which is telling us we have forgotten to implement an essential method. And as I discussed earlier in polymorphism we need to have the base class as a parameter. So in this case it should be shape. So now compile and run and see the results. So it is working fine. So in this exercise you have learned polymorphism and the usefulness of abstract class. Here you can put virtual in cylinder as well. In case in future if someone derives this class then polymorphism will still work. I have another very interesting and useful example of polymorphism for you using the output streams. With one piece of code you can either write to a file or to the console output screen. The output streams are structured like this in C++ with a stream for Cout and off stream for file output. So let's see the example how it works. Here I have a simple program that opens up a file and writes I love C++ but I want to make use of polymorphism to write a common function that prints to the file and to the console output screen. So I can have a function let me call it void print and as we have discussed in the earlier example, the parameter should have the base class. So here the base class is a stream. And I can have a variable ampersand out. So as I did here, I can have an output statement out. I love C++. And end line. Now I can replace this and put the print function and pass in file out. This one should print I love C++ in output.txt and to print to the console output screen I can write print and C out. That's it. Now let me compile and run. So now you can see the console output and we can also see the file output output.txt I love C++. So this is just a cool example of polymorphism. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to get more similar videos. Thank you very much.